Chopas is an interesting anime about a love between a human and a robot. Oh boy, does that attract the hentai otakus. Chopas the best! Uh, anyway... Now, the reviews I've seen in Maw are mostly people giving 10s, making this the high ranking out of the other clan works from what I've seen. Okay, this anime is good, but not that good. So let's see what makes this anime at least decent. Hideki is a farm boy who wanted to go to college, but, however, it really didn't go as he hoped. That's what I thought. Uh, 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 uh. I got rejected! I failed! I'm gonna be a bum for a year! <laughs> he decides to go to Tokyo for prep school, but while there he sees Persicons, a android that can pretty much do everything that you want them to do, but couldn't afford it. ARE YOU KIDDING? THERE'S NO WAY I COULD AFFORD ONE! After setting in and getting comfortable, he thought his life would be normal until that night he sees a Persicon and decides to take it. Now he owns a Persicon who he calls a cheese since she keeps saying that. Now his life will get interesting. Now when it comes to the plot of the show, it's cliche sure as it has everything that the magical girlfriend genre has when it comes to it. But however, it knows that and it never tries to hide it which is nice as I hate animes that tries to hide what they really are. It has a really simple story pace to it which is not bad and it's easy to follow for the most part. One thing that really disappointed me is how it doesn't go as deep as I hope with the relationship of a robot and a human. Now don't get me wrong as we do get that, but that is during the last third in the show and it wasn't as much as I hoped. It was a huge missed opportunity as other than this anime having something that is different, that is all it has to stand out compared to most other rom-coms and before we can get that, we got fillers! Now it's not all bad but they are mostly Chi trying to learn a lot of things and being cute for the rest of the first two acts of the anime. Boy, does this will make Draconis drop the show in an instant. There are some important story moments here, but they won't appear until the third part of the show. And that is the biggest problem with this anime, as I wish they put more depth to it in the beginning as when the story comes up. In the last third, as it does feel tacked on, like they just forgot how the anime should have that. So overall, I enjoyed it in some parts, but I just wish it could have gone deeper than it could with its themes. Art. When it comes to the art, it's very pretty. One thing I like is the color scheme as it gives each character a very distinctive feel to them when it comes to their designs, which is also good. The animation is very simple but slick and clean as this is a madhouse production since they are known for having faster movements in their other works, but it's shown here as well and, and I do like some of the expressions that the main character makes. Do? Oh. That was so nice. Uh, can't think about Yumi. Ah! Got a job. Huh? How did you know about that? I'm really glad you could stay, senpai. I'm really glad you could stay, senpai. I'm really glad, senpai. Oh, I'm such a lucky guy. So overall, the art is really distinctive and pretty to look at, as well as the animation. Music. When it comes to the music, it's really fantastic. The soundtrack has that retro style to it, which makes the BGM just enjoyable to hear, especially that opening. The op is one catchy pop song that really just gets stuck into your head and the ending themes are awesome as well.
So overall, I have nothing to complain in this category. English dub versus English subs. When it comes to it, Funimation really impressed me again with another good dub from them. First, we got the ever-famous Crispin Threeman, who's the voice of Hiraki. He matches his personality so well when it comes to his fanatics and how hyperactive he is. Oh, no, it's all right, Chief. There's nothing there, nothing at all. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't be scared. I got a thing or two to take care of, so you just stick around here and I'll just, uh, write. <laughs> Chi's voiced by Michelle, and while not as good as Rei in the Japanese, she did well, but I do prefer the Japanese version to be honest, as I feel it had more charm and personality. Where is Hideki going? What do you mean? Prep school! But that... The other side cast is also good, as they do their best, and not a single one of them is shit, so that's a plus. So overall, I do recommend the dub if you're a dub person, but I'm gonna say it's a tie on depending on how you choose your actors. She might be a decision making on this. CHARACTERS! Now, the characters are really enjoyable and interesting for many reasons. When it comes to the main lead, I really don't like it if they're just gonna be the idiot who which makes girls attracted to him, but you know what? I really like Hideki. I really do! No, don't get me wrong, he does fall under the idiot male lead I have seen in rom-coms, but he is a little different. He is a character type done right as he really is useful and has some interesting character development and interactions with Chi as well as the other side characters. I have to say I'm impressed that they act very realistic which really adds some character to them. Chi is your very typical Moe magical girl type character and that is what she is for the most part. There are some interesting aspects about her, but for the most part I just see her as a way to get to the audience of the male side and I didn't care for her until the last third. As for the rest of the side characters, they show a lot of development whenever they appear. And I say it's enough to satisfy and they didn't overstay their welcome once their character arcs ended. But there's two characters that are out of nowhere and it would be the two robot agents. Really, we don't get much about these two other than they are robots sent in some organization to stop Chi. But I ask, why? They sort of hinted at the end, but really, I want a full exclamation. You cannot just throw in something and expect us to say it fits. So in conclusion, the characters are decent, but I do wish the main leads would have more death, especially Chi. I see that I do enjoy this show a lot, but not as much as everyone who watched this, and I'm pretty sure it's just those hentai otakus spouting their mouth. Job is the best! Anyway, I recommend this if you like romance, but don't expect it to be as deep as you hope it to be. Which is why with all the scores combined, it equals to a whole number of... 3.25 out of 5. Good! Well, I'm the Anime Wolf Gamer here, and I hope the next day will be even better. Although, it, I don't think it will be, since I'm tackling the top 5 worst MLP episodes of Season 2. Oh, God, the hearts of Who's Day. Well, see you next time. If you want to get to know me better, or if you want my opinion on a certain topic that's going on at the moment, then question away. I have a Tumblr, Twitter, and a mall account. So send me questions on all those three. Unscripted for every set of questions that I can have a lot of things to say. See you real soon.